Happy Independence Day 2023. See this flag? I love it. A couple of buddies of mine made it for me. It's hanging on my wall because I think it represents the American nation as it stands today perfectly. It's torn and distressed. It's under attack, even by our own government. I'd like to share a message about patriotism on this special day, and I hope you enjoy it. I think it's more important now than it has been in a very long time. Today I would like to discuss the importance of patriotism on the 4th of July. Even in times when our government may have taken a tyrannical turn, the 4th of July serves as a reminder of the principles and values upon which our nation was founded. Patriotism is at its core a deep love and loyalty towards one's country. It's not synonymous with blind allegiance to the government, but rather a commitment to the ideals and aspirations that make our nation unique. While it can be disheartening to witness a government deviating from its founding principles, our patriotism should never waver, but rather be reinvigorated. Firstly, patriotism reminds us of the power and potential of the people. Our nation was built on the belief that the ultimate sovereignty resides with the individual citizens. The 4th of July is a time to reflect on the actions of our founding fathers who stood up against an oppressive government to secure the liberties we hold dear. It serves as a call to action reminding us that change is possible and that we have a role to play in shaping the direction of our nation. Secondly, patriotism serves as a unifying force among the people. Even during times of government adversity, our shared love for the ideals of liberty, justice, and equality can bring us together. On the 4th of July, we come together as a community to celebrate the values that transcend any temporary shortcomings in our government. It is an opportunity to connect with fellow citizens, engage in meaningful conversations, and work towards a vision of a better future. Moreover, patriotism can be expressed through dissent. Our love for our country does not mean blindly accepting its flaws, but rather striving for improvement. The 4th of July offers a platform to voice our concerns, hold our leaders accountable, and work towards a more just society. By engaging in activism and promoting dialogue, we demonstrate our commitment to the principles on which our nation was built. Lastly, patriotism on the 4th of July reinforces the idea that our nation is greater than any individual or government. The spirit of independence and the pursuit of freedom are ingrained in the fabric of our society. By celebrating this day, we acknowledge the true essence of our country lies not solely in its current state, but in the potential for progress and the collective will of its people. In conclusion, the 4th of July serves as a reminder that our patriotism should not be diminished, even in the face of government actions that deviate from our founding principles. It is an opportunity to reflect, unite, and actively participate in shaping the future of our nation. Let us remember the power of the people, the importance of dissent, and the enduring values that bind us all together as Americans. Our founding fathers here in this country brought about the only true revolution that has ever taken place in man's history. Every other revolution simply exchanged one set of rulers for another set of rulers. But only here did that little band of men so advanced beyond their time that the world has never seen their like since evolve the idea that you and I have within ourselves the God-given right and the ability to determine our own destiny. But freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, then you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free.